how do you recommend people get started with PPC? And is there any particular software that you guys like to use? Yeah, so no particular software. Uh, we essentially do everything in bulk sheets. Here's how I would get started. You need some sort of like foundation. So I would go to Helium 10, take your top 10 competitors. You can also do this in Data Dive. And then you want to get the, the keywords of those competitors. So what I do is, you know, go into Amazon.com, type in your main keyword, open up the Chrome extension for Helium 10, go into X-Ray, pick the top 10 competitors, run them in Cerebro. You're going to get probably like, 60,000 keywords. So then add some advanced filters, something like at least 500 searches or more a month, a maximum uh, rank of 60, anything beyond 60, it just might not be a relevant keyword. And then uh, minimum ranking competitors, I would do seven out of 10 or eight out of 10, because that gives me the intersection, uh, which means if you're showing this keyword, it means that all of these competitors are ranked position one to 60 for that keyword, or at least, you know, eight or nine out of the 10 competitors are ranked for that keyword. So that gives me a nice refined list. I'll take that refined list and I'll start, you know, putting some campaigns to do discovery, but also to do some targeting. So I'll start with an auto campaign, I'll break it up into close match, loose match, compliments and substitutes, knowing that compliments and uh, loose match are probably not going to perform that well. So I'll start them off with a little bit lower bids, much, much lower than the suggested bid, um, hundred dollar budgets, no problem. One campaign, one ad group, and, and you know, just that targeting type. And then substitutes and close match, probably a little bit more of an aggressive bid, knowing that they're going to discover keywords. And a lot of the times they do perform. And then I'll start taking those main keywords, probably the top five main keywords, and do single keyword campaigns, just because they're very powerful keywords. So one campaign, one, one ad group, one keyword for the top five main ones. Uh, broad, phrase, and exact. So it'll be a total of 15 different campaigns, one for each match type because they perform differently. $100 budget. If you're trying to be conservative, start at a lower bid and you can always work your way up. And then for the other keywords, mm -hmm. I like to take like five at a time and put them again, you know, broad phrase and exact campaigns. Uh, and now I've kind of spread out a, a nice little kind of spread. You can do this. You can be a lot more selective. So you can take the top five keywords and maybe the bottom 10 keywords because, you know, you're going after some long tail cheaper keywords and you're going after some main ones that are going to establish relevance and, you know, have a lot of firepower. And so I launched those, you know, those uh, keywords um, and I'm watching the search term report like a hawk. So in the first, you know, I wa every day I'm looking at, okay, show me keywords that I've spent money, uh, you know, and, and which one generated sales, which one didn't generate sales. And I'm looking to refine quickly because the auto and, and uh, broad and phrase campaigns are definitely going to perform, but they might have bad keywords in there. Meaning uh, I have a, a broad keyword like electrolytes powder. I go and I look at the search term, the, you know, the search terms inside of that broad keyword. Some of it is like electrolyte supplement and another one is electrolyte packets. And so my, my product's not a packets, for example. And so I'm not converting well for that. So I'm looking for those things that I'm not converting well for negativing them quickly and keeping the ones that I am converting well for. And if you ask me, what is the definition of good and bad? I would say for me, like one to 30% ACOS. Uh, is good uh, in terms of conversion on a search term. And then the 50% of my sale price with no sale, with no sales. So like if a $30 product, $15 in spend and no sales or greater than a hundred percent ACOS, that's not good. So I'll add those as negatives and, yeah. and um, greater than a hundred percent ACOS and low sales. But if it's greater than a hundred percent ACOS and it's generating like, you know, 500 sales a month, like I'll leave it. It's, it's all, it's all good. It's probably benefiting on the organic side, but, adding those negatives and then going in and, and hunting for new search terms that have converted and launching them in their own campaigns. And so that's kind of like my system of, okay, uh, you know, we're launching. The goal is not to overspend. I don't want to, I, I don't want to control the bids yet. I don't want to be too, you know, uh, tight because you're not going to be profitable when you're, when you're initially growing. So I want to just anything that's really bleeding, pause it and kill it. But anything that I find as an opportunity that's generating sales, add them to more campaigns. I, I wouldn't negative something that's already working, just you know, launch them in more campaigns. And do yeah. this again and again, increase my impressions, increase my sessions, um, and focus on growth for the first, let's say 30, 45 days. And then after I've achieved like a certain amount of, of good growth, I'll say, okay, let's pause for a while and let's optimize for profit. Let's, let me find all areas of opportunity where I can lower bids, add negatives. Uh, maybe I had a, a top of search bid by placement that didn't work out. Let me, you know, lower that. Maybe I lost some sponsored brands that, that I'm not sure if I gained an effect from them. Let me lower those bids or, or pause those campaigns. 
And then I get to a point where all of my ad budget is being utilized efficiently. And that's now when I'm profitable. And if, if you're still not reaching a point of profitability, you're probably, your click through rate and conversion rate is probably too low. And so that's where you should put your focus next. So keep everything as profitable as can be, and then start working on improving click through and conversion rate, get those numbers up. Now you're profitable. Then you go into another cycle of, of growth. And so that's, you know, tactically how I would approach it.